Sometimes I want to scream. And let people know that they can't try me. Sorry, y'all. Welcome back to Robbie Rants the Podcast. Oh, wait. Cute intro. Welcome back to Robbie Rants the Podcast. A podcast where it's my life, mental health, and so much more. Thank you for tuning in. I know you're going to feel me. Now, what y'all think about that? I'm going to work on that. But I love the I know you're going to feel me because I really want y'all to feel me. Okay? So, y'all, before you overreact, breathe, right? And that's so hard to, to really live by, truthfully. Because for me, personally, I want to do this episode because I am such a sweetheart, right? People who know me know. And I I don't sit here and say that to say I'm perfect. I do make mistakes. I have made bad choices. I'm human. You know what I mean? So I think it's super important to humanize people, right? Because everyone has this idea of us. Everyone has these things. But no, we're human first. We feel. We react. And this is why I want to do this episode, y'all. So I'm really huge on resolving conflict, right? And last week, I felt myself blow up in one of the worst ways and one of the worst places <laughs> that I could have overreacted, right? It's crazy because I'm in a space and I, I'm trying to reflect and look back like, yeah, I knew I was wrong. But at the same time, I felt like I was tired. There comes to a point in anyone's life that once you push and poke and push and poke, and push and poke, especially with good, genuine people who want to help, who want um, collaborations to create safe spaces. You know, that's the the goal I'm I'm doing with this community that I'm building. But not everyone is always gonna agree with you. Shit, not everyone's gonna always like you, and that's just the the truth. Like. I always want to see good in everyone, so I always try to go that extra mile. And I'm learning it's people-pleasing, and it's not okay. (laughs) It's not okay to people-please. Either people are going to like you for you, or they aren't. And that's just where I'm at. But I say that to say when dealing with things, right? Because it's so important to be intentional, right? When we are facing trials and tribulations... And life throws its curveballs and people um, aren't always so nice. I've even talked about it with a few friends of mine on Instagram. Like, I'm not the only one going through it. People have a hard time learning not to overreact, right? And I think it's because we stem from a good place. We stem from love. So when things don't go our way, it kind of leaves us defeated in a sense. Like, how could it not when you try to do all you can to be a good person? And I'm not saying that this was the case in this situation in all transparency. But I started really reflecting. I started thinking about how I show up and how angry I get when I overreact or someone pisses me off or I don't like something someone said or shit, someone might have said something about me. But... The truth is, and I really wanted to bring it to the podcast, is it's really up to us how we react, right? It is. So it doesn't matter what people do to you. And that's the cold heart truth. I'm just going to say it here, and I'm learning that we're learning together. I told you you're going to feel me. See, that's why I said it. (laughs) But... It's really us, right? I've had so many situations over these past weeks happen with different people. And I'm like, you're letting it get you upset. You're giving it this power, right? And it creates a block with my mental health. It leaves me in a sense of depression sometimes because I want to almost always rebuild those connections or or try to fix right and you can't always fix but you can self-improve right how are you reacting to situations in your life how can you react better 
to situations in your life. For all my spiritual people and my empaths and the people who are going through transitions and experiencing the blossom and bearing the fruit of your season two, right? Because that's where I feel like I'm at. I'm really, I've worked hard. I've, I've put in the work. I've been doing the, the work <laughs> with myself. So I feel like it's time to reap what I've, I've been, you know, planting. And with all that fruitfulness and, and things coming my way, there's bound to be some bad, right? How could there not? Life is not always about unicorns, sunshines, and rainbows. And when you're great, like I said in episode one, when I'm in alignment, that's what I'm working on. And I feel like that's God and life's way of teaching me. Like, yo, you really don't have this down pat. Yes, you are empowering people, but you still have work to do. Let's be clear. There's always work to do within oneself. I really thought it was important that I highlighted that, you know? I still have work to do. If you're listening, you probably do too, especially if you're a hothead like me, shockingly, right? I'm a sweetheart, but I really want to channel and change the way I react to things. The way I reacted to things really could have got me in a lot of trouble. And I thank God I'm covered and I thank God for the people around me because I really could have lost a lot. Because I overreacted. Now granted. I wanted to do this episode. Because I deemed. Felt like it was. I felt like I was right. But I was also wrong. I wasn't wrong for feeling the way I was feeling. And being triggered. I was wrong for overreacting the way I did. And I can publicly say that on my podcast. And I'm happy to express that because it means I am learning and it's the best way to teach to learn so take a look within yourself for a second and think about how you react to things how do you react when things don't go your way how do you react when someone tries you how do you react when a friend might have stabbed you in the back And these are just scenarios, you know what I mean? But like, how do you react? And I started really paying attention to how I felt after I overreacted. Very heavy, very angry, very not myself. Why did I cause myself all this anxiety and depression, right? Because I just needed to take the time to breathe. If you're listening, you don't always have to react right away. I think the best part is being able to take it in. Take a step back. Assess the situation. Know your feelings are valid, but you don't always have to react right then. I want to challenge you ranters to meet people where they are. What I'm also learning is a lot of times when people do things... It usually isn't about you. Shocking, right? Whether they do it to you, whether you see it happening around you, whether it's happening or other people, it's never usually about you. It's something that they have inside that they have to internalize, whether that be their own traumas, their own hurt, their own whatever, right? But how you react to what people do to you is more important than what they do to you crazy ain't it but it's true now i really wanted to do this episode because i was wrong regardless and because i overreacted it almost didn't even matter what the person did right because everyone just sees that one thing And full accountability, this is what I caused on myself. But I wanted to do this episode to heal from that. To to know that, like, Rob, you don't have to react to things. And yes, you come from a place and a space of being a sweetheart. And you feel like because your traumas and your tricks, you don't want people to just think that they can do whatever to you and get away with that. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Okay, for, for my religious people, and if you're not... 
you know, that's your decision. I respect it. But vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I don't have to do anything. I just need to continue to be a vessel, to continue to breathe, and continue to do the work that God has placed me on this earth to do. All the other shit, fuck it, truthfully. It doesn't matter. And I also want to leave you with this in closing. And I'm starting to really try to internalize this. And it's hard, y'all. I'm not saying that I'm not flawed. You might see me, you know, curse out somebody tomorrow if they really try me. But, like, I'm learning. (laughs) And I say that to say that, like, I'm not perfect and it is trial and error. And that's why I wanted to make this podcast to, to have it as an accountability episode that moving forward I really want to work on how I react to things because it does stem from hurt. It does stem from abandonment, anxiety. It stems from a lot of things. And it's time to really let that go. It's time to really just let go. There people are going to hurt you. People are going to disappoint you. People are going to make you sad. People are going to make you angry. People aren't going to always agree with you. And that's okay. But how you react to what happens, all of that, shapes your mental health. <laughs> it, it didn't dawn on me until I started like really processing what this episode was going to be like. It really does. Because in the end, you're left feeling anxiety. You're left feeling depressed. You're left feeling those heavy feelings. All because you just didn't take a step back and breathe. So I hope this helps someone. You know? I really wanted to talk about that. And I feel so much better releasing that. I feel like I can breathe. And I really thank you for tuning in and listening to another episode of Robbie Runs the Podcast. Till next time.